Okay, I'm not usually one that would say that something is staged, especially something as horrific as a church being robbed. Because it happened. We're living in crazy times where churches are being shot up. Churches are being robbed. Churches are being disrespected. The Bible is being disrespected. Preachers are being disrespected. But the more I watch this video, the more I think this was staged. Now, I know what some people may think. What some people may say, everything is not staged. When I first saw this video, the first thought came to my mind was, this can't be real. This cannot be real at all. But then the more I watched it, doesn't make sense to me. Now, I'm going to let you watch this video, fair use, but I'm going to let you watch this video and I'm going to give my thoughts on this situation where this church is being robbed in Brooklyn. And you tell me if this does not look like a setup or an insurance fraud. They just seem too fake. Saw somebody else die, what you about to go through. Yo, yo, all right, 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 all right, right, yo, all right, all right. I want you guys to pay attention to the dude sitting right there in the corner. He's got more heart than the preacher do. The minute these dudes walked in, the first thing the preacher did while preaching on going through something, the first thing the preacher does is lay down. He quickly laid down. He laid down too quick and too easy. Now, that brother that's sitting over in the corner there, he didn't budge. He's just sitting there looking. He's got more heart than the preacher. The preacher didn't even challenge these dudes. You would think that the dude would say, yo, 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 what's going on here, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? But this dude, the preacher, got down too quick. Now, they say that these robbers got him for over $400,000 in jewelry. Now, take a look at that church. Usually when preachers have that kind of money, wearing that kind of jewelry, they will live, or better yet, be in a much better church than that. That's a storefront. And then look at the quality of this camera. You mean to tell me between you and your wife, you're wearing over 400 grand in jewelry, but yet you can't afford a better camera and you're supposed to be live? You're live getting robbed in a storefront church with a crappy camera and you're wearing jewelry for over 400 grand. Make sense of that. So the only thing I can think of is this is some type of insurance fraud. 
The dude sitting right there, he's too calm. But I another thing, too, was one of the women, listen to what she said. I don't know if you can hear her, but she was telling the little kids to leave. And I guess one little kid was concerned about the iPad. And she was like, you know, F that iPad. She's cursing in church. People do not have respect for the church today. But I'm going to let you watch the remaining of this video. She said, don't worry about no effing iPad in the church. People don't have respect for the church, man. And I understand the situation, but yet where's the self-control? And everybody in the church ain't saved. We know that. Everybody in the church is not saved, even when it comes to the preacher. Not every preacher is saved. You know, so I, that's why I really don't like when people put all preachers in the same category, the same boat, because all preachers are not saved. Right. But I just think that this is this is this is an insurance scam right here, man. This dude is trying to get some money, man. Four hundred grand and you're in a store for a church with a crappy camera that you can hardly hear or even see. You would think that he would have a much better camera. Listen, a lot of these cell phones, the cameras on a lot of these cell phones is a lot better than what this dude got in his church. But yet between him and his wife, their jewelry is over 400 grand. Makes sense of that. Now, he made another video was saying that he went after them and was saying that he saw when they changed their clothes and uh, what color car they was driving. He allegedly say he saw their face. Now, again, like I said, this could be real, but it looks fake. It doesn't make sense to me. You wearing over 400 grand in jewelry between you and your wife. And then in the video he made, he said that they were targeting him. Now, he was in the news before when the dude decided to go up in the subway and they offered the reward. And he was on the news about that. This dude is a scam. And I would not doubt it if somewhere down the line it comes out that this was an insurance fraud. You know, 400 grand and you're in a storefront that look like that with a camera that you can't see nothing. There's no detail at all. And the sound is real crappy in this camera. I'm sorry, but it's it, it, this seems like some type of scam. It's an insurance fraud. That's what I think it is. And he know these dudes. He know these dudes. Right. So feedback and tell me what you think. When I first saw this video, the first thing I said was, this can't be real. I saw it on Instagram, and I said, this can't be real. And the more I watched it, it didn't make sense to me, and especially that dude that was sitting so calm in the corner. He didn't move. He didn't get down, not one bit. He's just sitting there just looking. He didn't look scared. He had more heart than the pastor or the preacher did. The preacher immediately got down. And then in that video he made, the response, he talking about he looking out for the parishioners and he was he just told him to get down.
brother, you lied, man. All you did was okay, and you laid down. You didn't tell them to get down nothing. You laid down. Too easy. So feedback, tell me what you think, till next time. I'm fearless.